Hello everyone, in today's session we will be doing one of the previous year question of UPSC CSC physics optional. So here's the question. We have to explain the principle and working of helium neon laser and we have to tell the role of helium gas and why we are using the narrow tube and in the last part we have to find the how many longitudinal modes can be excited for these specification we are given the cavity length half width of gain profile and then the emission wavelength we know for the helium neon gas laser so let's start our question solving so let's start the basic understandings of helium neon gas laser so to produce the lasing action we all know the process of population inversion should be achieved and why we are using the helium gas so here the helium gas will act as a buffer gas to excite the neon atoms and why we are choosing the narrow tubes to increase the collision probability so next we need to see the working firstly we are applying the external source external pumping source to excite the helium atoms so this is the first step with any DC source we can excite the helium atoms then so the atoms excited to metastable states metastable states so the property of this state is so spontaneous emissions cannot take place so they can de-excite themselves by transferring by transferring energy to other atoms in the medium so through collision they transfer the energy to neon atoms so this is the role of buffer gas so helium gas is transferring their excess energy their energy to the neon atoms after transferring this energy so neon atoms get excited then after some time the population inversion takes place population inversion means there is more number of atoms present in the excited state than the lower ground states so the, the population inversion condition which is achieved then lasing action there is a whole pro working process that is taking place inside the helium neon gas laser so let's see the level scheme so this is a level scheme for helium neon laser so here's the helium atom levels and here's the neon atoms and so it's a ground state for helium so we are using the external pumping to excite it to the this energy level of 20.6 electron volt through collision this energy the helium atom is transferring their energy to the neon atoms these two levels are roughly of same energy so they can easily transfer their energy so this is the metal stable states and further raising will help achieve the condition of population inversion and hence we get the radiation of 6328 armstrong between these two energy levels you can calculate the this wavelength from these the difference of these energy levels so this is the whole level scheme for this helium neon gas laser so let's see the numerical part of the question so we have to find out the number of longitudinal modes that can be excited for a cavity length of 30 centimeter and the half width of the gain profile is given as 2 into 10 to the minus 3 nanometer so let's start so we are given with cavity length 30 centimeter 
half width of gain profile that is 2 into 10 is for minus 3 nanometer and then we are having this lambda emission 6328 Armstrong so we are given with these information so we have to find out the number of longitudinal modes that can be excited that can be excited with this half width gain profile so before solving this we need to understand the concept so we are given these three graphs so first is of the laser gain bandwidth so this is our this is the bandwidth of our gain profile so we can find out the separation between the different modes and this is our actual number of modes that can be excited all the modes can't be excited the the number of modes falling in the region of this bandwidth will be excited so let's start so we can find out the number of excited modes through calculating this this half width divided by separation between the modes so half width is so we have to find out the half width we are given in meters half width so we have to calc convert this into frequency terms so we just have to do this c by lambda where lambda is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 nanometer so this is the half width in terms of frequency and the separation between the modes is given by you can see in this graph that is the separation the c over 2l where l is a cavity length so we can find out this separation between the modes so this is c by 2l we can cancel out the c so the number of modes that can be excited will be equal to twice of l over 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 nano so we can take 10 raised to the power minus 9 here so putting the value of l 30 cent into 10 raised to the power minus 2 and then 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 into minus 9 after solving this we get minus 2 plus 3 plus 9 plus 1 so this is 11 so these these number of modes can be excited so this is a solution if you have any doubts related to any concept of this laser gas laser and the numerical part you can write me in the comment box if you like this video you please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video